Hello friends, welcome to another quick online tip. So in this video, I am going to show you how I removed Google AdSense auto ads from inconvenient places in my site design, which I thought were spoiling the user experience. So here it goes. So this is the panel of Google AdSense where you can see uh, our website has auto ads enabled right so now i'm going to go to the settings here click the edit icon and google is going to scan our site and suggest possible placements of auto ads now if you see this placement which it is showing to us lies between the nav bar and the site title and description so i really don't like this ad placement because it's going to push down all the content and i really don't want people to have an ad in front of the face immediately when they enter the site as well as I don't want to get them an impression that we are all ads and no content. So I really don't like this placement. So how can I prevent Google from showing this auto ad on this particular placement position? So if you will go here, you will appreciate that there is this bin icon and if I browse over it shows remove. So basically if i click this icon it tells google ads that i don't want this placement during auto ads and maybe you could decide to take another uh, placement so when i click this uh, you see what the pop-up says is that no ads will show in this area from now on and the change applies to similar pages across your entire site so i'm happy with that because i really don't want uh, the banner ad to show right beneath the logo and maybe Google should fix up a new position. So let's click remove and see what happens. Well, so now what changed was that Google decided to show another auto ad and this time the position changed from beneath the logo and above the nav bar to below the search bar. So the above portion which you see from the logo to the search bar is the header portion on our site template. So I think I'm fine with this position and I would possibly allow auto ads to run here because a large ad will show here and it's a natural demarcation uh, from the site header and this seems to be a reasonable position. So let's scroll down and see where else it wants to show. Well, this also seems to be a reasonable enough site and possibly I'll also let it show here. And then there are the latest articles and okay, this also seems fine. Well, so that's it. So they decided to show two ads and this one seems fine here and this one also seems better. So that's how I decided to remove uh, Google AdSense auto ads from an uh, inconvenient place and fix it to a position where it seems better. Now, similarly, let's see on one of the blog post pages and what does it look like? Okay, so this is a Viginet ad and okay so i just cross it out and now it's going to go to that single post page and decide on auto ad placement so you see it's now again the auto ask ad has come to a similar position as was there on the front page of the website and this seems to be fine again and then it shows this uh, in article ad which also seems to be in a good position and well that seems to be it so i'm also fine with this kind of placement and uh, i think uh, uh, the auto ads is doing a good job of uh, placing these ads once i have refined and fine-tuned the ads which i don't like so that's it for today you can also uh, use google adsense auto ads and try to fine-tune your ad placement using this small tip and uh, well you can make a lot of money with that so in the end, just don't forget to apply to site and save the changes in the end. And that's it. So there we are. So thank you and stay subscribed to Quick Online Tips YouTube channel and continue to learn new tips and tricks to make you a better, better tech blogger. Thank you so much.